Hi, I'm Deb Iverson, Core Medicals Nurse Practitioner for Lumen Technologies. Since COVID-19 started, we've learned that non-white ethnic groups have been more severely affected by COVID-19 than the general population, and the numbers of people infected by the virus have had to go to the emergency room or been hospitalized with more severe symptoms or who have died from this virus. We know that non-white ethnic populations have had less access to our health care system over the years for lots of reasons, mostly lack of insurance and cultural barriers such as language, where and how people live, transportation, and other reasons. And we need to keep focusing on these problems to reduce the disparities so that all people of color have equal access to health care. But there's some other reasons as well, and I wanted to talk about those today. If we look at these four chronic health conditions, uh, obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular problems, and hypertension, we can see by the darkly shaded areas on these maps, they tend to happen in one part of our country, the southern part of our country. And wouldn't you know it, that's where a lot of our minority populations tend to reside. So what's the connection here? Why do I why do our people of color have more of these chronic health conditions? Let's look at diabetes, for example. If you have diabetes in your family, we know that there is a genetic connection there. So if you have diabetes in your family, you do have a higher risk of contracting diabetes. And when you have diabetes, there is a connection to cardiovascular, hypertension, and obesity. These things tend to connect with each other. They are interconnected. However, we can have some control over these things to lessen the severity, such as keeping the fat in your diet down, your cholesterol levels down. Uh, keeping the salt in your diet down will help your blood pressure immensely. Keeping your weight down, keeping good exercise um, habits in your, in your routine, stopping smoking is huge. And so these are some things we can control. We can't control our genetics. The other things you could control is making sure that you're up to date with your health care. In 2020, a lot of people put off their health care because of the pandemic. Call your PCP, get in for your physical, update your labs, make sure your medications are correct for whatever your conditions are, get those medications refilled. Let's make sure you're immunizations are up to date. And by all means, if you've not considered a COVID vaccine yet, please consider one. They're over 90% effective. And this is probably the only way we're gonna get this pandemic under control and hopefully put it behind us. Let's make these statistics better for all of us and especially our people of color. I hope this has been helpful and let's make 2021 our healthiest year yet. Thanks and have a great day.